Hello, my name is William R. Palacio. I'm a freelance uh, illustrator and children's book artist. And today what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and get started on part two of how I paint digitally in Corel Painter. Uh, we left last off, uh, left off with the background and now we're going to go ahead and get started on blocking in our colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create another layer. Create another layer and uh, each element of the painting I'm going to want to go ahead and put that on its own separate layer and you're going to see the reason for that later. It's going to make everything a whole lot easier, especially when you're a freelance artist. Um, you're dealing with clients, and there, there's always a lot of changes. Maybe someone will say, I don't, I don't like this guy's shirt uh, being red, so let's go ahead and make that shirt blue. And if you got everything on the same layer, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to go ahead and go in there, change that shirt from red to blue. If you got it on its own layer, um, you can do adjustments just on that layer and it's going to go real quick. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Again, I'm using my special brush that I created in my first video tutorial. If you haven't seen that yet, go ahead, go back. I think I believe it's called uh, How I uh, Make My Brush. And uh, you can go ahead and make this special brush and use it in your in your paintings and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this anvil and I'm gonna go with I wanna I wanna do kinda like the medium tone first uh, the medium tone is usually uh, the most saturated tone um, I figure this is gonna be kind of a, uh, a dark purplish gray and we're gonna go in here and I rotated it a little bit and get started and when you're blocking in you don't need to be super concerned about what color you're really using at first because what's gonna happen is later on um, before we start doing the detail work and most of the rendering we can go ahead and go back in here and change the color of these uh, of these of each you know object to to make the uh, the painting jive a lot better and so basically what we're just trying to do is we're we're trying to get right in the lines of what object we are painting and what that's going to do is it's basically going to almost make us a, a layer mask to work off in the future and that way the whole painting process is going to go a lot lot faster so let me finish this up and you can really see when I'm zoomed in here you can see that texture that I that I keep talking about and you're probably tired of hear, hearing about it by now but uh, I love the texture uh, I like to paint that way. Just going back in here and make sure I get everything inside of that anvil that I want painted this color painted. My eraser tool come back in here where I got out of the lines. Okay, now that I pretty much have my anvil all, well there's a little more, but now that I pretty much have it the way I want, have the base color in, I'm going to go ahead and go over here, double click on the layer, name an anvil, hit OK, and I'm going to lock that layer so I don't accidentally paint on it later. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and do all the other elements uh, 
in the painting and put them all on their uh, own separate layer and I'll come back when I'm done with that and you'll be able to go ahead and see what I've done. Okay, so now we're back and you can see that I've completely finished up and uh, every element has a solid color in it. And not only does it have a solid color, uh, but each color is on its own layer. So you can see right here it says stump. If I click the little eyeball next to it, you can see that it, that color goes away. Same thing with the hair, uh, even the mouth. Um, I've grouped some elements together such as white which is the teeth and the eyes. The hammer's handle. So each element um, is on its own layer, has a solid color and uh, that's how we really want to go ahead and start uh, every painting is to get all your solid colors in there because those colors are going to make a mask that helps you do the rendering in the next coming video. Um, so that's going to be the end of this video and in the next one we're going to get into rendering the shadows and coloring the line work. Uh, thank you. My, again, my name is William R. Palacio. I'm a freelance illustrator and children's book artist. And you can see my work at www.palacio, that's P-A-L-A-C-I-O, illustration.com.